Hey up everyone, and welcome back to Battle Brothers. Last episode we unfortunately lost one of our first proper brothers of the first 12. When I say first 12 I mean as in the proper 12, not as in all the people in the obituary before that, because let's face it, they didn't really count. So still, F and Nadine, but we are going to look to see if we can replace her uh, down the roads. Uh, obviously we're still in between the Holy War, as soon as it comes up as an ambition to complete it. I will be picking that. Um, I will be taking as many contracts as physically possible to do the Holy War. Because um, I need to get as much money as possible to try and deck these brothers out for the upcoming other late game crises down the road. But without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, there's not really much going on in that city. Um, Seems that we've got friendly relations with Armsburg, so let's try and keep up that. So I will go to Shattenburg. Hello! What do you want? I don't know if I should just charge in there and do as much damage as physically possible. Don't let them charge me. How about I charge them? Shoes on the other foot, bitch. That'd be an interesting play. Hmm. Maybe. Ah, screw it. Wait, hang on. Let me... I'm gonna wait for them all to appear. I'm gonna fire off my shots. There's much damage to their front line. No. Last part didn't really do that much. Ready? No! <laughs> Oh, how do they do noise? You stay there. You've got too injured. You can't come to the party. Sorry. You just come back here. Well... Still not perfect, but a lot less charging, which I am a big fan of. Only, wait, only one person is one person. Only one orc has charged so far. I don't think the others really are, so that's kind of a winning formula. I'm quite quite happy with that. Right, come on. Get to work on them. You shouldn't. Good night, Vienna. You're not stunned. The only one who got stunned, as always, is moi. Right, if you're gonna come in, just be bloody careful, alright? We know what these guys are like. That's some great spear walling, Mary. Keep it up. Oh my god. Good. Oh, uh, well. I'm kept up for as long as possible. I'll take it. Nice. Okay, Mary's stunned. It's, it's okay. That's probably the end of using that crossbow. I should swap out. Okay. Oh god, come on, 71s all round and it did nothing. I'm not happy with that. Alright, come on, Fraser, do some clearing up, please. 48% are not great, though, like, honestly. 65s. Hit that guy as well, that's okay. Ooh! Oh, come on. All these 75s are missing like crazy, man. I'm not happy with that. 80s? Just missing all the 80s? That's cool as well. He stunned two people? Like, come on, man. Everyone just bore off. <laughs> he says so nonchalantly as he murders four orcs in one go. Uh, 
Oh god! <laughs> well, those three nan first did seem to mostly work. 70s is missing loads. And I mean loads. That's Battle Brothers, baby! 91. Two ninety ones. Thank you. All right, come on, clean up, crew. Time to deal with this. Huh? Well, that happened. Just don't you dare! Thank you very much. Now it's the end of these orcs. Let's clear up. Time to put away toys. Hello, friend. Oh, yeah. You get Don't like it when the charging's on the other foot now, do you? Dickhead. Could just punch him to death, but that takes so long. Cool! Well, we got nothing out of that. A battle not worth thought. Anyone have a look? Carried you love that at least. I'll take a plus three. I'll take a plus two. Um hmm. He's already got Colossus. Oof, Jesus. Really? That's his health with Colossus. Really? Something doesn't seem right. Alright, well. Deary me. Not a lot to do. Not a lot to do, I guess. I'll go check out Camp Wider and Strodoff. Maybe they'll have something? I don't really fancy killing Greenskins right now. I'd rather just kill the Southerners instead. <laughs> In the game. Only in the game. Okay, yeah, alright, screw it. I'm gonna quickly do this. It's easy money. And also, it'll make things cheaper over there. And also, they might give us a... Ah, perfect, here we go. A fresh cold breeze is blowing today, and you feel like it's a good time for the northern lads to start something new. You call the men to gather around, what do you tell them? The fires of religious turmoil threaten to engulf the lands, let the company be forged stronger than ever by its heat and flames, and earn a fortune by winning the war. There it is. Oh, apparently it's almost over. <laughs> it doesn't feel like it. What? You come across a homestead and think to pass it, but all of a sudden the door swings open and a man falls out, legs scissoring across the porch until he falls flat. Drawing your sword, you investigate him. Turning him over reveals a green and purple face, a mouth caked of involvement and dry blood, and hair falling out of his head. You leave the body and enter the homestead where you find more men like him. They're all southerners and seem to have come down with some northern illness that they perhaps they are perhaps uninitiated to. Oh mate. Judging by the southerly state of their equipment, they've been holed up here for quite some time. One of the southerners reaches out to you with a decrepit hand. Please, send us to the Gilder. The light of this world is no more. Hmm. I mean, like, I don't hate either side. I'm just a mercenary, so I'm just going to end them with dignity. Oh, nice. Someone has killed dignity, or at least as much dignity as the sword can afford. Of course, you kill them at length, not daring to lay a hand on their diseased bodies. To your luck, and probably because the material was rubbing their skins raw, the sick we had learned some equipment off to the side. Cool! Some extra tools. I'm fine with that. Like, honestly, I love how different random encounters keep coming. Like, there's some random encounters that I still haven't seen in this game, and I've been playing the game for like three or four years. It's mental. In a great way. 
All right. Ah, uh, there's nothing here. Why is there never anything here? Overstead sounds like a long way away. I feel like it's really in the north. Ha! <laughs> yes, yeah, the town we used to hate is. Um, that's a hard pass, bro. I'm gonna go to Campwater and see if they hope we have anything to do with defending any of the places. What's that? I'm gonna go check this out quickly. God, I love a famed weapon or an item, even. Ooh, we love our, we love our weeder gangers, don't we? But you really, man, you really are like staunch northerners, aren't you? You all hate. Wow, Rob, you wanted me to make them suffer, and Fraser, you wanted me to make them suffer as well. Jesus, you guys, I love it. Okay, let's get quickly crack some heads or some undead heads. Because there might be something fancy hidden here. I doubt it, because it is quite close to a settlement. What's usually good if you're trying to look for famed items is the further away from any settlements you can get and find areas like these, like buildings and such, that's your better chance to find a famed item. Places like this, where it's literally around the corner from, like, for example, this one is from next to Coppingham, it's going to be super, 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 super unlikely that we find anything. But we'll see. XP's XP. Just a very slow roll. I'm probably going to speed this up a bit because you guys are going to be sat here forever and I'm probably just going to start debating things that aren't based in this game otherwise. Right, okay, so I really quick Sean with throwing weapons instead of a crossbow so he can at least throw them twice. Let's see how he does with them. Yeah, that's good. I'm happy with that. Don't you be missing all those things again. I'm not having that. Pop off, mate. Yeah. Unload on him like a Tommy gun. Yeah, bite my shield. See what happens. There's not really that much of a challenge here, I suppose. Unless we get super unlucky rolls, but... Highly doubt it! No, let me see what I get back up. Hmm, which one to hit first? It's that one. Can I stun the undead? Can undead people be stunned, per se? Because they're dead? A real question for the ages. <sighs> you guys. Pop. Almost pop. You guys get attacked by people who can barely move. Silly sausages. <laughs> there we go, he's back to normal again. I can't really hit anything because. Oh, really? For real. There we go. Let's get experience with Mary. Because he's still a little bit behind than everyone else, but understandably, because he's not really been here for a long time. So he's a good little. Okay, you're knackered? Everyone's getting a little bit tired. There's a lot of bopping to be done. Which is kind of understandable. <clears throat> no, 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 no. Gary's also really coming into his own with that sword. I mean, I know it's a, it's a great sword, but a sword is what you make of it. It's the wielder that does the do. Does the do. There you go. Hmm, close. Nice. You're all good over there. Let's see if we can end this before this spawn again. Okay. Guess not. <laughs> Get back down. Nobody asks for your opinion. Chill. 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 Hmm. Really? Nice try. Very little injuries, Rob got a level up, that's very good. 
See what I mean? Nothing there really. We've got some strange meat, which I'm not going to question what it is, because you can probably guess what it might be. Signet ring, a lot of the crap. It's, yeah. It's a very easy detour. But at least we can sell the stuff, sell the signet ring. Sell the other signet ring as well. I really wouldn't mind finding some direwolves to kill, because then I can make some mantles. Or some more mantles. Rob's got one already. I suppose I've got the unhold attachment as well. So that's quite good. Alright, Rob, 79. 17? What's he got? Do I make it to 100 exactly? Or do I try and balance out his weakened heart? Hmm. I'm gonna make it 100 exactly. <laughs> Health be damned. Yeah, I never picked Brawny, which is kind of my downfall, really. <laughs> so now I go last, no matter what, unless I take all my armor off and just, you know, go in fully naked. Which, honestly, next time we fight Fugs, I get 80. Next time we fight just Fugs, I might just go in fully naked to see what happens. <laughs> Obviously with a weapon. Not just, no, not just punch them all to death. Although, could work. Punch one, take his weapon, kill the rest of that weapon. Like a scavenger playthrough, that'd be different. I don't even know if that'd be feasible. Uh, ooh, these might be direwolves, which is what I want. So let's go have a deke. Yeah, we still own it. <gasps> it's almost like somebody heard me. Ah, oh, nice. Very good. Oh god, Ifrits, go away. We don't have to fight Ifrits yet, but they're not fun. They're like catapults. Or trebuchets, I guess? It's weird to explain, actually. Anyway. Boys, get to work. It's not quite what I meant. That's one. Yeah, don't don't kill your friend, please. That's three. Hmm. Oh, that's a frenzied one. I didn't notice. I don't think you get any different pelts. Pretty sure you don't. Uh. Hold fast. Really? Guys. Really? Really? Stop it. Okay. Yeah, get him. Stun him. Ah, nice, he's done him. And use that extra bit to get your weapon out. That one's done. Let's go and deal with this one. Oh, that was a loud growl. It's the rumbling in my tummy that only hands can satisfy. Right, well, he's done. Let's see him off with a big goodbye. Goodbye. Nice. Nice. Got some wolf pelts. Got a saber tooth. Now, oof, save two tigers, now that would be a different thing to fight. I mean, it's hyenas, but that's not even close. Alright, easy money. I mean, it only really pays for one day of work, but... Sell those, sell that. So, I might, I'm going to keep all of that for now. Sell all this crap, but I'm not using. Okay. This might be a slightly better deal. This is a crazier deal, because the amount of money that we're going to get for it is whacked. Like, fully whacked. I guess we'll see. Is anyone worth hiring yet? I don't want to hire Minor 49er. Piss off. Right. Where is the ancient city? Oh. 
I thought we dealt with the ancient. I thought it's ours. It's ours, isn't it? Oh, defending it against them coming up. Right, okay. That's fine. Boop, 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 boop. Come on. War's almost over. We've barely been in it. We've lost one man. Well, one not so lad. To the war. Very sad. Everyone's probably got PTSD from all the guns. Okay, well, we're back here again. Well, that kind of worked last time, but meh. This time, let's, uh... Let's build some palisades. See how much that helps. Because usually... Oh. Sorry, how many? I can't fight... Seriously. 17. And that's all of the conscripts and an officer and all the guns. No wonder it was worth 4,000. I was honestly expecting backup like in the last one. I thought that was just a given. But... I can't fight 17 of them. Like, no. Sorry. Bye. Also, the walls aren't really that great. Honestly. I'm saying full retreat, boys. I know we were ready for a big, massive holy war fight, but I'm not risking it. Like, conscripts are bad enough as it is. Conscripts aren't raiders, by the way. Conscripts are like... Um, well, they're better than raiders. Um, and then officers are like better versions of uh, brigand leaders. They're like, I suppose, knights, actually. Yeah, they're more like knights. And you got the guys in the back who are more like billmen. Um, yeah, when it comes to their armies, it's probably closer to fighting in a civil war than it is fighting brigands or outlaws. So, as it stands. I'm not letting everyone get murked. I'm really not. Because I could probably kill a few of them. But the guns are insane. And the fact that most of them have like dodge and nimble, it makes it it takes forever to get through their armor. So you have to tire them out or get some lucky strikes and hit quick. Which there's no guarantee of. And we already lost one person recently. And I still need to replace them. I don't want to lose like another three or four people just doing this. Well, saying that, I would have got 4,000 crowns, which I then could have used to replace with better people, but hey, too late now. I've whistled. I've whistled it. You will run on my first whistle. I said run, bro. Maybe. I wasn't ready for the Holy War after all. Maybe the lads weren't quite there. I mean, we did pretty well in the last one, that's because we got a lot of help. Whereas this one, it was just on our Todd. And yeah, my guys are good, but not going against four gunners constantly firing at you, which blows apart armor good. And uh, some of the rolls today have been awful. Like, I get it's RNG, but sometimes it's a bit, you know, too much. That's Battle Bros, baby. Right, easy money. I'm surprised you're still giving us stuff for that. Oh, they've taken an ancient sea. I wouldn't know. I haven't been there recently. It's not that I just came from there. Okay, maybe I'll return to the north, fight another day. That's kind of disappointing. All the Holy War quests are like three school ones, and they're kind of impossible to do right now. Yeah, guess I'll go and do what I know, I suppose. Like, level 10, level 4, level 10, 10, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 
While on the path, he comes to a man being dangled upside down from a tree branch. A bunch of men are sitting down around him, sharing a goatskin flask, looking like they're at the day's end of a hard a day's hard work. When you ask what is going on, one of them looks up and smiles, whipping his fell until he's raw. You ask what for? Another man answers, fornicating with his fellow's wife. A man drinking spurts and chokes to drink. He wipes his mouth, hardly fucking hard, very honey. No, his scumbag was caught fucking my dead horse. Talk to the dangling man. I mean, yeah, but the horse is dead, so what? Ugh. Why don't I come and fight you? I'm a strong and able bodied man. A little horse, I mean. <laughs> Worse to the wear, that side and the dead animal thing. Okay, tell you what, I do need, I do have a position that's just suddenly opened up. Uh, just please don't fuck any of my horses. So what you think you're doing? We ain't finished here. Are you really going to defend this piece of work? Ain't that some fucking horse shit? I guess now I can say I've seen it all, which is exactly what I said when I caught the bastard porking my dead horse. <laughs> A man catches his breath, then points at the recently rescued. I hope you die on your first day out, you filly fiddling bastard. Welcome aboard, you horse whore! Let's have a look at him. Halston the filly fiddler. I mean, he's tough, but he's superstitious. Wow! Uh, <laughs> melee defense, range defense. I mean, you're not very good at anything, are you, mate? But. You know what? We accept anyone here, apparently. I need a backline weapon for him, because <laughs> he's not going in the front line, that's for sure. Or maybe he might have to for the time being. <laughs> well, unfortunate for the people who've been waiting for a name, because, uh. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. What can I say? Just please don't sleep with any of my horses. Oh, at least wait until they're dead, please. The lid of the box shifts around. You stare at it, exchanging a glance with the caravan guard. Your shipping dogs around. Suddenly the box lid explodes, sputtering, sputters cascading from a source of great angry power. Moaning, a creature rises up from the box and arms crosses over its chest. The face is pale, the skin taut and clearly cold. The cargo is loose, the cargo is loose. Cargo? Who would dare call such horrors cargo? What the hell am I about to fight? Oh, what? Vampires? Oh, as colloquially known in this game, as Necrosavants. Why were you carrying these guys around? Hey, if the donkeys are going to die, you could fuck those later. <coughs> anyway. This is not what I expected. Technically, if we kill the cargo, is the, qu is the contract over? I kind of want the money. No, just saying. Now, the issue with Necrosavants is they can sort of teleport willy-nilly. Willy and they're also a real pain in the ass to hit, especially at night time, as you can see. It's actually going to be easier for... Wow. For everyone to... Uh... Not bunch up, but every ranged person just to equip a melee weapon instead, because otherwise, meh. Right, we're gonna have to see what happens here, because anything could happen. Right, don't bunch up too much, because they start flying around. Uh, and obviously, every time they hit something, they get their health back. Classic vampires. Wow. Well, two of the donkeys are dead. Donkey! Damn it. Right. Make a shield wall around the donkey boys. Come 
Can we stop killing them now? Man, oh man. I didn't really go down so easy, did I? Show them how it's done! Okay, don't show them how it's done. Right, we need to actually start, you know, doing damage. Damn. Heads! Let's see where this is going. Yeah? Oh yeah. May, come on. Come on! Throw me a fucking bone game, seriously. Come on. They're not. Well, they're not running anytime soon. <sighs> They've got nine lives. God damn. Where's it going? No, the donkey! That's one, boys! Come on, we can still save the last donkey. <laughs> right. Yes! Yes. Come on, get, get in on him. That's fine. No, well, not rowing, but I don't think they can. Is there anyone who can move into... Yes, yeah, so if I move there... Oh, yeah, he's actually doing something. If I move there, I don't think he's going to be able to hit our donkey friend. I hope not. No. Can't hit him, though. Eee! Bad. Necro Savant's bad. Okay, what's the game plan? Not that. God damn. Come on, guys. Oh, yeah. He also has, uh... Bleeding, which is great. Just be careful not to leave that gap out. We have to protect the donkey at all costs, which is kind of a weird thing to think. But hey. Donkey, little donkey. Don't die, buddy. Oh, great. Ooh. Oh, wow. There was just nothing left of him. Come on. Come on. Damn. Damn! Oh my god. Guys! Literally life and death here. Come on, man. Nine lives again. How many nine lives did we get? Shitting out. Hallelujah. 
Okay. Whew. Well, to say that was the first incident where we had to fight Necros events, um, that actually went kind of okay. Nobody died, except all the caravan guys. <laughs> Let's just forget about those for a second. Uh, and one of the donkeys survived. Why was that just in there? Who was transporting that? Two of the caravans are dead. So I definitely think we're not going to get paid the full amount. We're going to get paid like a crap amount. And I was like, bro, you're literally transporting vampires in a box. Yeah, we got half. <sighs> Bloody Necro Seventh Savants just popping up out of nowhere, ruining our contracts. What are you gonna do? I was kind of expecting the Southern War to be over by then. But apparently it's not. Northeast. Oh. Weirdly enough, it's the same place again. That was easy enough. Wow, he just started crying at me. Okay, well. Too bad. Alright, well, there could be anything. I mean, there's a reason that guy wanted his stuff here. But I think I'm gonna wait till next time. So then the next episode, the first thing is literally just going to be either a really boring battle, or maybe kind of an interesting one. Um, as I have realised, I have flown over for time. Um, obviously, the war has not gone very well in our favour. It has got a bit wacky. I might do a few things up here, and then go back down south, and then see if there's any, like, one skull, like... Holy War Quest, so if I can like find some better stuff, go back down. But right now, I just don't think we're prepared. I don't want to lose the entire group of blads, honestly. So yeah, that's the position we're in right now. Um, so we'll see what we can do next time. Okay, as always, I'm going to quickly just reel off the uh, kill count up to the end of this episode. I don't think a lot has changed too much because we haven't fought too many people. Just a few orcs, just a few undead here and there, and a lot of running away from the Holy War. So, yeah. So, we've got Christian on zero, as he just joined the company, so that's kind of understandable. And then we've got Merry on eight, and then Gary on nine, Aaron on ten, Sean on twenty, da -da -da, Lorinian on thirty-two, Elliot on 54, James on 59, Rob on 65, Fraser on 82, but still in the lead with 97 kills is Jack. Jack is still the leader of the pack. And the person closest to him is Fraser. I just don't know if anyone's going to be able to keep up to him. Unless, you know, he dies. <laughs> Which, hey, you know. No, no. Um, we still got the same permanent injuries. Still got the same deaths. Still deaths. Hide a new guy. Hopefully he doesn't fuck any horses. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, anyway, as always, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. Feel free to leave a comment. And as always, feel free to click the subscribe button, which is the big helmet that appears on the screen right about now. But other than that, that's ciao from me.